All right, we're back again. I'm sorry. That is not going to happen again today, and it will be fixed so it never <laughs> happens again ever because I feel really bad. It's another three parts of episode 106. 106 I didn't think is I a could. bad look. It's not the best look, but which sucks because <laughs> I feel like we're having good discussions right now. Yeah, it'd be like that. But I don't know what was well, going on. Okay, you know what? Just keep it moving. Just keep it moving. Um, you know, Shrieken, Shrieken just got his own episode pretty much. Yeah, that's funny. Part two was just Shrieken, and then I, yeah, I, that's sick. I, apparently, no one could hear me anymore, which I don't even know why. So, moving right You're along, trash. battle at the barracks. Damn. We had two battles this weekend. Damn, who was okay. Saturday? Refresh my memory. None of, none of my picks won, man. Refer, who played Saturday, Mike? Uh, Cody and. Seva. Oh, Seva. So, Seva took the win. Um, yeah, he did. Which is actually what I anticipate. What I yeah, I was going to say you picked Seva, right? I did. I picked Cody, um, man. I don't know what. Like, It's hard to go against either of them, dude. I was going to say, that one's like, dude, he, and what's That's fucked awesome. up, he totally did his all his Seva tricks, too. I mean, from a viewer... You know, and I mean, even if you're playing against them, you know, there's a handful of tricks that you know are coming. Yep. That hard flip front 180 is really fucked up. That seems to be the one that gets people. I think That's especially because a hard flip tough. on hard flip, and especially a hard flip on flat ground, you, it's a trick you already have to jump high for. Naturally, you're going to land on your back truck. So if you have the control to land on your front, it doesn't seem that hard because that's all save it. He doesn't really turn his shoulders. He just lands in a nose manual and turns, you know? Yeah, I guess. The thing is that most people are going to land back truck. So Seva does hard flip, but has enough popping control to begin opening shoulders. But if you watch, it's not like he's really turning it in the air any more than a normal hard flip. Seva's a beast. It's crazy. The control is crazy. Um, so, yeah, that came back and forth for a second, but... Not too long. Um, Sunday's game was very short. Yeah. Sadly. <laughs> Bombed out on that one. Uh, I think as soon as I saw the fact that it was two minutes. You knew what like, happened. I said the same exact you know, thing. I love a shot. I love a skateboard. Got skunks. But um, if it's two minutes long and Shane O'Neill's in this game, I think I have an idea what happened. <laughs> you got skunked. And uh, as soon as they did rock, paper, scissors, I said, yep, I know exactly what's going to happen. Uh, Dude, he Jod does looks, not fuck around. I don't know. He just, I don't know. Wasn't landing, wasn't landing the trick Shane was doing. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It was very short, obviously. Yeah. I enjoyed I mean, the pregame. every day you see clips fucking Shot getting around. skunked out. Yeah, dude, the shot's really, really good at flat. I mean, so, he's I had mean, some very it takes good a battles. Dude. Totally, but I think it takes a dude like Shane to skunk a shot, man. Yeah, but, it, I mean, his shot obviously just didn't look very on it. Because It'd be like that? Whatever, it's not like he's tripping. It's just a game. Oh, no, not at all, but I'm just saying, like. I still wanted Tom to win, so my, my winner is Ben. Out, dude, ben oh, I think race. Shane's winning. I don't see how yeah. Shane could lose. I mean, I'm not going to be surprised at all. Doesn't he play does. PJ then, next? I was going to say, he's still got to run into the PJs. He's still got to run into the Lawans. He's still got to face the Sevas, man. Like, there's dudes that will fucking definitely take Shane out. Or can take Shane out, I should say. And Shane can take know. out those dudes. It'll I be personally good. want, It'll be at good this to watch. point, with who is left. Okay, I'll ask you first. With who is left in the tournament thus far. Who do you want to win? I don't know. I want to look at the list. Uh, I mean, off the top of your head, yeah, it's pretty it would easy. Be sick for Cookie to win. Love Cookie. That he has all the tricks. Rad. We just saw him do them all. Him versus Paul was just. We saw him do all the tricks. We know he's got them. I would love for Cookie to win. That'd be really sick. All right, that's rad. Well, now that Tom, obviously, I wanted Tom to win. Um. Am I gonna go? I want I want Chris Jocelyn to do well. I mean, I I would think he will. Who's he got to face next? Do you have the bracket? Uh, I think I do. Let me check. I know Willie Fiak is left. I'm sure it'll be a heavy battle, no matter who he's playing, because 
There are no one weak. left. We're, okay, here's the bracket. So Chris Jocelyn, let me find his name. Chris Jocelyn. He's not over there. On the left side of the bracket. So he beat Diego, and then he beat Tom. Damn, that's – damn. Just those two, man? Are yeah, you that's serious? heavy already. Okay, that's really so, heavy. Uh, wait, let me see who else. So Luan beat Tori, and then who did Luan play after? Oh, wait, Luan has, Luan's going to play Felipe for round two, right? Oh, man. So the winner of that plays Chris Jocelyn. Oh, my so God. So Jocelyn's going to face either Felipe Gustavo or uh, who did I just say? Luan. Luan Oliveira. That's that match has got to be one of my favorites. Luan versus on, Felipe. On, on paper. Sick. Yeah, on paper, that's going to be – that sounds epic as fuck. Who would you go for in that match, Brazil versus Brazil? I was going to say probably just Brazil, but you kind of already killed that joke. <laughs> so <laughs> – uh, I'm gonna put my money on Luan. Yep. You know why? The only, literally, the only reason why is because Luan's had, I think, more experience, more success in contests. More success. Not to say Felipe hasn't done good in contests because he's won Tampa. And Felipe he's is good on contest. one right now too. But I feel like I've seen Felipe look a little more nervous and uncomfortable in contest situations. Not that he always is, but I've seen him have be, feel like that more than I've ever seen Luan feel like that, or at least visibly. So right. for that reason, I'm going Luan. I won't be surprised no matter what happens. You, you know, you know that though. That is a heavy lineup. Dude, Felipe is on a tear right now. So I mean, yeah, he has I been mean, just. I wouldn't be surprised if destroying Barcelona. Yeah, man, he is absolutely killing it out there. I yeah. still can't get over that fakey tray switch five zero, man. Big trick, Fakey nose grind is makes absolutely no sense because it was That's backside. That's crazy. Let's just, yeah, let's just say it, it was it was backside. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> please, um, please, man. Yeah. Uh, oh, that a, was another yeah. one. Go ahead. Um, what's his face? Who I can't remember who did it. Was it Frankie in that New Balance video that did Fakey back tail tray flip? Fakey tray. Uh, I think he did varial flip out on that like shootout ledge. It was more than a varial flip, though. Are you sure? I thought it was a varial. Yeah. No, it was like more than a varial flip, dude. I'm telling you. Or either, either well, that you know, or he did the varial flip extremely gangster looking. I'm pretty him. sure it was a really good looking varial flip out of it. Damn. That's rad. But anyway, sorry. Back um, to, back no, to no, you're ground. good. I actually kind of want to watch, like, see if I can talk about something and pull it up because I'm very interested now. Because I remember watching it and being like, well, that's not what I expected. It was that definitely towards really the end. Sick. Um, yeah, it's on Thrasher's YouTube, right? Okay, yeah, I just I checked. So. so the Bear hasn't posted who's playing this weekend yet, so we can't make picks. But what are the what are the potential games, though? Yeah, we could just run through the the second round games that haven't happened yet. Right. So, okay, this is kind of confusing now. So Cole versus. Wait, Cole beat Booznitz and then lost to Nick. That's over. Mm-hmm. Oh, Cookie and Louie. Ooh. Oh, wait, no, I meant I met Cookie and Sean. Sorry, sorry. And Shane? Cookie versus Sean Malto. Oh, Malto, for sure. You're taking Malto? Oh, versus I'm go Cookie? Cook. No, I'm going Cookie Colburn. I'm going to go Cook, but you know, we'll yeah. see. That, that, that would, I hope that's going to be a good one, too. I hope so. Um, Cookie Dough got all the so, tricks. Felipe Luan, I already chose Luan. I'll choose Luan as well. That sec- There's only a few second round ones that have happened. Oh. Uh, wait, PJ already beat Moose. Mm-hmm. A shot and Shane just happened. Okay, so Will Fayok. Wait, Morgan Smith beat Carlos, right? Rivera? Yeah. Yeah. So wait, did wait Will and Morgan already happened too, huh? And Will won. Will won. Over. Yeah, sorry. And then uh, Cody Sapid. Yeah. So those are the we already ones. we already chose them all. The rest of the round two battles have already happened. The rest of them. So those are the ones that are happening this weekend. Well, was that only two? Yeah. Oh, sick. 
Cookie Dough and Luan. Yeah, I'm choosing the same. Sorry. We're boring. But Whatever, dude. <laughs> I'm tired of being wrong, so fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Just choose my, my bracket. Pick? My bracket was broke <laughs> the first after the first week. Oh, uh, that's funny. Um, did you happen to see Herman Stein's or Stein Hell yeah. He's his known up. associate? Oh, wait, I just got to the Frankie clip. It's a fakey backtail varial flip. That is flame. Yeah, see, don't doubt me, Mike. I pay attention to the tricks. I just watch the videos and talk about them with you. <laughs> uh, so what do you want to talk about Herman, then? He killed it. I mean, it was really short, though. It was only like two and a half minutes, right? I want to say it was shorter, wasn't it? Really? Maybe. I mean, I don't know. It was super rad. He, yeah, it, it was good street footage. He striped up, dude. Those dude, they know how to pick them. Yeah, it was, a, it was a minute and 40. Oh, wow. I seemed a little bit longer than that. That's really short. But I think there wasn't really much B roll. It was like straight clips and, you know. Yeah, that nose grind popped so. into the bank. Crazy good. I'm going to watch it without audio as I talk about it. Maybe that'll. Crazy good. Oh, this roll on 50 big spin out was so sick. Oh, yeah. Like, the, like the right at the beginning, right? Yeah, pull jam out of the bank over the gap was tight. Yeah. Oh, I think this might be my favorite. This kick flip back over crook on the bank to legend Barcy that's angled. And then he pops out of it into that bank. Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. Like the, It's like a nose grind, right? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like a in-betweener. Back, back over pinch. Smith, dude, this bank trail is fat that he smithed. Oh, Harry Lintel, this dude's so tight. You back 50s it. I like, yeah, I like, like this dude Herman Harry a with lot. two ends at the end. Yeah, double N on the Herman. Back in it. It's Herman. Tight. Oh, this Herman. left side big spin was sick. Yeah, dude, I'm, uh, I've actually been familiar with him for a little while. but I've never heard of him until that part drops. I really enjoyed the footage. Do you call it a part? This or what do you was call it? so sick when he... He did this crazy, like, whip his arm caveman thing straight into nollie position and nollied over this ledge into that bank. Man, he's bucked. That was Where's he from um, again? Uh, I wanna, was it Germany? Germany. I want to say Germany. Mamas? Is he Mamas? Yeah, that's skate shop. Sick. <laughs> Someone said Mamas. Bro. <laughs> um, what, what was your question that you just asked me? I don't remember. Something about Herman. Or oh, oh, is it a part? I mean, I'm not calling it a video part. What are you calling it? I don't it? know what I would call it. It's street footage. That's, That's what good. you fall back on. You fall back on the term edit. Oh, it's just a sick Oh, edit. feeble shove it was so Yeah, sick. that was so sick. I mean, I just sick. don't think a minute and 40 is a video part. Not that at all the footage isn't of that caliber. I was going to say, it's full of bangers, though. Oh, no, undeniably. I'm not at all at all trying to say the foot. I mean, watch it. You can't say the footage is bad. I'm just saying that, in my opinion, I to me, a video part is longer than that. Yeah. But it has a video part feel. About I don't know. Channel Who cares? Video part. Call it whatever you want. No, the problem with the Ride Channel is, you know, if you call this a video part, that's not stupid. I would just, to me, I feel like a video part is longer than that. Ride Channel will call, like, Dude has like three street clips, a bunch of B-roll, and oh, look at his new part. It's like, dude, <laughs> it's not hard. I don't even think they skate at Red Channel, so whatever. Anyway, you know, there is some really good – that back three at the end is just massive. Oh, Zion yeah, mode. back three. Dude, they should have a back three off. Zion, Zion. versus Herman. Zion wins. Are you sure? He doesn't wear Adidas, Mike. That's fine. Where's that <laughs> other company? Oh my god. They drinks that other drink. Yeah, Mike, when are you going to wear a Red Bull hat on skate floor? I will not do that. Unless they want to pay me, then I will absolutely do that. <laughs> I'll be Red Bull the fuck up, dude. I look like a bobsled team member with Red Bull gear. Red Bull. <laughs> All right, um, Cole Wilson. I'll tattoo some wings on my back. Cole Wilson, dude. Freak. Tell me, tell me this. If you have to choose freak. one trick, one trick from the banging that's your favorite, let's hear it. Nose grind the A frame. 
as someone who I skate in a frame often, like we have one at Fargo, right? And like for me to think about nose grinding up and and down that is not like not a thing. Yeah, that's insane. like are you kidding? Um, like, you when know it comes what? to rails, this dude is on a different is, planet. I think the Smith grind up the five hub but into the bank yeah. just looked the sickest. Absolutely insane. The fifty the grind up the up the round rail sucked into it and he went into that bank was just so sick. Dude, Cole Wilson is he's just on one. Okay, on fifty chair. up to seven. Yeah, that was heavy. Crazy. And he popped over into the bank, like what the fuck? That was <laughs> just... he'll be on the Sody list at the end of the year, I guarantee it. Yeah. Yeah, and at the top, no at the top of why he's on there, it's going to say Barrett's bank. Changed. Psych. It's going to say, well, it's also, <laughs> it'll just say change the game for rail skaters. Dude, he's so good. Yeah, I mean, he's already had Foundation and X Games Real Street. That were absolutely fucked. Imagine and one more thing. that we've never seen before. One more part from him? Hey, one more part from him is slit. That's, that's usually what we say, right? Two to three parts with Sodi. I mean, I just can't wait for some new Louis Lowe footage because I, yeah, you already know I that's love that Spitfire part. You already Woo! know that's what I'm waiting for. <laughs> the part goes. Dude, it's, everything about it is so I'm sad. waiting for Louis Lowe's part. You already know. I'm not. That's um, You already know. I don't know. I don't know what I've he's I've been saying Louis Lowe's Sony 2017 like all year. The thing I is that they're they're doing a, a cons video, but I don't think it's coming out until 2018, so I don't know what he's going to drop They'll just Boy, drop man. his part early. <laughs> just, it's just a Louis part. Video's not out for six months, but we'll just have him film another one. <laughs> hey, we want him to win, guys. All right, fuck it, yeah. <laughs> just drop it. Uh, that's funny. But, I mean, I don't know. I, I heard someone say, one of the team writers, I think it was Louis, when he talked about it on his Thrasher interview, said that that wasn't coming out until 2018, I believe. So. Well, things oh. change, man. Yeah, maybe it's dropping at the end of 17. He'll get the Sody, and that'll get sick his video of the year. <laughs> <laughs> that video, dude. Yeah, is Pleasy gonna have a part or what? I hope, but I don't know. He doesn't dude. really like go on trips. Dude, but- Pleasy's so much better than everyone else. Okay, whoa, watch your mouth. I'm a huge Pleasy fan as well, but he's so he good better- at skating. Better than everyone else, what? Like who? Just in general. Just everyone else on the planet? Yeah. At flat bars? I, you know what? There's no doubt about it. That man, I don't know how he skates rails the way he does. I don't get it. His, like, it's like – His level of American balance is crazy. He goes such like a he, – he goes like a very – not at all in a bad way. But it's like a, it's a mediocre speed, and he just locks in so perfect, and he just keeps it. it it's – I don't know. It looks so sick. His balance. <laughs> American so balance. Sick. I love watching him skate. Fire. Um, I mean, I would hope that he's in it. I hope we get a Kenny part. Al Davis. Good. I do it. No, we have to get a Kenny. That's a thing. I love watching Kenny. Yeah, Al Davis, I'm sure we'll kill it. Delator. Dirty Davis. Uh, Fire. You already know Aaron Harrington about to about to just mess up this whole world. He's Bobby DeKaiser. Bobby Ooh, D. Forgot about the wow. lineup. What? Mike Jeez. Anderson? Damn. Bobby D with the Ender. What a team. Shit. Yeah, that team's fucked up. Now give Bobby D the opener and then Louie Lowe the Ender. Yeah, I was going to say, I feel like Louie's going to have last, but I don't know. Damn, Speaking of video premieres, going to be sick. Speaking of video premieres, Lakai the Flare video is being premiered. This Tuesday, That's June thirteenth, Los Angeles, California. Neither Mike or I will be gone? there. No, I. Have... <laughs> Dude, yeah. Well, no. When I heard it was June thirteenth, I was like, "Oh, I want to go." And then I looked at the calendar. I was like, "Oh, it's a Tuesday. I have school until two forty-five. If you're trying to leave San Diego at three to go to LA, I'm. I'll probably be there oh, Wednesday. Yeah, <laughs> it's not even far yeah, away, no but shit. the traffic will be so gnarly. Like, I don't even know if I'll make. You them. get there and you see the the last part. You're like, yeah, yeah it's like. Sick. I don't want to go through the trouble of getting someone to give me a ticket to I sit in traffic and miss part of, you know, it's like, it's okay. Yeah. I hope I'm at the next video premiere. I absolutely love, love, love video premieres. And I hope everyone that's at the what video premiere. What if they do a cons it. one, dude? Oh, dude. I can't wait for that. That's just. 
I hope they do a uh, one in Chicago like Adidas did. Dude, that lineup is insane. I'm glad we just talked yeah, about that. Yeah, that lineup is insane. Uh, but anyway, the flair. So I won't be there. One of our view- viewers and my friends, Daniel Palacelli, will be there. AKA plop? Potato Plop? Potato Plop. Potato Plop. The person that you yeah, guys probably all watch is remixes, which, by the way, go watch his new SIBO one. It's so sick. So Potato good. Plop. He dropped it yesterday. Um, he'll yeah, be he's there. He's really good at that remixing shit. Dude. I'm, actually, I'm actually headed up to L.A. Saturday morning to skate with Mr. Potato Plop. Hell yeah. He's coming down uh, literally like for the Lakai premiere. I guess they got in contact oh, that's right. with them. Because of all, they obviously they see him as, as a big fan of their companies and uh, remixing all their footage. So they, this, pre, oh, I mean, my understanding plot? is, yeah, yeah. Oh, so they, they said that he can come to the premiere, and I guess basically he just had to get his way to L.A. So super oh, Adam for him, dude. That's tight. I can't wait to skate. I mean, he there. does good work. Undeniably, it's good work. How I feel about it? Yeah, he's sick. His videos are sick. Um, Mike, what are you looking to? What are you looking forward to in the flare? You got a last part prediction. Sibo and Vincent for sure. Those are good calls, dude. Those are definitely what I'm uh, looking forward what to. What about Yanni? Um, Tom Roar definitely. Um, who is it? Yanni? Yeah, definitely. Wait, is Tom Roar's name on the thing? I don't know, but I'm sure he'll have footy in it. Um, Mike Carroll, dude, know. Nico. Shit, I don't know. Mostly just Vincent. If I'm being totally honest. Uh, let's see, Manchild, Simon. That dude's footage is so tight. Flacco, Flacco's oh, gonna dude. kill it. James Caps, he's They're super like, good. Johnny Holy Raven shit, day today. Raven, <laughs> today's the same. Oh, Raven. How am I gonna know? Yeah. Uh, when is Vice? I mean, King of the Road premiere. Riley Hong. Uh, well, wait. Did you see they put out the first episode like randomly? Yeah. Is that like oh, real? Because I didn't click on it yet. Yeah, yeah. It's a full forty-five minute one. Oh wow! Yeah, I'll watch that. It, but they, all, I think, I think they did the same thing last year. They put the first one on YouTube, and then the rest you have to watch on their site or whatever. Yeah, um, I'll definitely watch. It but it's starting. I think it's going to be every Thursday, starting Thursday the eighth. So in two days. Uh, so that's that should be entertaining. Um, who are you yeah. voting, or who are you rooting for? I don't know. I feel like Death Wish enjoy is Enjoy Death look. Wish and Creature. But enjoy enjoys funny. Creatures. Marley. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I feel like Death Wish might win. I was bummed if you I'm watched the first episode. Jamie Foy rolls his ankle. But uh, I'm sure he'll be back. Man, in later episodes. Spoiler, man. Okay, my bad. It's the first episode. Um, People don't even know that it's out yet. They posted it a, like over a week ago. If you don't know it's out yet, you know now. Uh, <laughs> if you don't know, now you know, skater. Yeah, I was wondering what you are going to fill in that word with. <laughs> the color of our skin. <laughs> um, oh, you're funny. What? We can't say that word. You should. You definitely can't. Oh, can you? I mean, not that no, I do, but can you? I don't. I wouldn't want to. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You Never. Used the word homie. Homie. <laughs> what about <laughs> what about if your homie does a trick they really like? What do you say? It was. I'm ooh. saying that shit wasn't. It was dry. No, it was. Go wet. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Well, let's get into Ryan Clements Nine Club, which killed it. Medina and I both. Are it was really stoked on. <laughs> Okay, the thing that I got that I took away from it more than anything else is this episode was so fucking educational. It's Dude, not I even so funny. Much. I learned I, so I feel like much. I was so happy. I seriously, it's oh seriously like God. legit. Like, thank you, Roger and Chris. Like in general, obviously, listening to Nine Club, you get to learn things whether it's about someone's life or whatever their story. But then, especially when they have dudes like this. Uh, that are kind of – they're definitely in the industry, but kind of behind the scenes. You know, I think a lot of people – there's comments, like maybe some were sarcastic, but like, oh, who's this guy? Like, you know, because other, other times they're having huge name pros. Um, but you can seriously learn so much about the industry, about what you, those behind-the-scenes people really do. 
it's so sick. I loved hearing about the stuff uh, like managing money. That was really yeah. interesting to me. Um, Dude, there was everything definitely you did a moment the park, in there. Starting the border, all of it was so interesting to me. And Dude, uh, his, like, cool to hear his, level, his level of like entrepreneurship is absolutely outstanding. Dude, it actually made me think. I think – uh, it's this motherfucker it's started with a lawn care business, Grant. It, I know, it's definitely different, but it did make me think of Jeez. Eric Bragg's episode because they both seem to, uh, like throughout their story, throughout their lives, rags to riches, creating dude. new ideas that seem so original and so different, and then Way watching them succeed, which is so sick. Um, honestly, I was very intrigued when I saw that he was on because of the skate park Tampa story. I've been just as someone, just as a curious person, I've wondered what happened with him in the skate park since he no longer worked there. Um, I already heard all that. Yeah, I don't think I, I hadn't heard anything about it, so I was. No, happy I hadn't heard it like from him. I was just like familiar yeah. with what, 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 with what went down. Um, um, there was one thing he said that I wasn't backing at all. With like, he said like the point of a product toss is like out the window. I was like, no, nah, dude, product toss is sick. <laughs> I mean, kids get yeah. stoked on product toss, man. I love product But I think product. that, uh, I mean, in a way, product tosses are almost done via companies on Instagram now. Yeah, definitely. I think that, well, yeah, that's true, but not a demo. They still do that shit every fucking time. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. But I think that a lot of them are doing it more so now in like a, a, a do tricks for things approach. Yeah, do something instead of like, here yeah. you go. Yeah, I Which think that's cool. I think that's a, a really rad approach to do. But at the same, I mean, not that companies don't, but it's also sick when maybe they see like a kid, or you know, maybe someone that can't skate the rail or whatever, where they're doing the little best trick thing on, but they're maybe you know maybe they're new new to, new to getting into skateboarding, and they still come up. That's always cool to see. I love that. Mm -hmm. Um, I was not only surprised, very excited that they were so upfront with the whole S. That Adidas was so crazy. You can literally like hear Kelly's like tone of voice change as soon as that topic comes up. Yeah, because they want to – I mean, it's obviously something He's, that – You could tell that he was bummed as fuck, dude. Yeah, but he wasn't uh, bummed You could anymore. tell. I mean, I'm sure he wasn't not, happy with the way it went I'm sure down. He was right. I'm sure he was not anymore, but I'm sure I'm sure he felt some kind of way right after the fact. Like, yeah, I don't dude, know. It he, was, he, I'm that just was happy fucking anymore. crazy when he put his pro model shoes like on the desk. Dude, right yeah. Kelly what? was on. Kelly was on one. Yanked out the three colorways. I was like, no, nah, those are three stripes now. Just <laughs> they just popped them out. Right Damn. Now. Um, well, what else we also learned is that Diego is officially on Adidas and he's getting paid by Adidas. That's what it sounded like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, I mean, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a uh, welcome to Adidas video from Mr. Nahara very shortly. That really was crazy. But, I mean, as soon as – I, you know, Kelly's expression, and when he got up, I was like, oh, he's getting colorways for sure. Dude. And he pulled it up. I yeah, I knew the he second he got up. Yeah, I was surprised he did. But you knew he, he was going to grab colorways? How? How could you have possibly known that? What, I mean, what else, what are the, what else is he going to get? I don't know what he was going to get. I, was, I, I, went, I don't want to make think this of anything. I was kind of like, where the fuck did he go? Up, I was like, he's getting an S Diego thing. I mean, obviously, S was going to push him. They had him signed. And he's yeah. obviously getting something well, that's related to the conversation. So I was like, that's probably a colorway. Then he pulled out three. Yeah. I was like, dang, they were really about to push him. Like, yeah, that, I mean, three colorways, that's like a collection right there. Yeah. That was And heavy. they were talking about, like, doing It was cool to hear them talk it out, though, you know? Yeah, and it was like, I think it was cool on uh, what the spaces we have to just, like, straight up bring it up, too. Yeah, Clements. Bring up, yeah, to bring up, like, the whole uh, – um, like, the whole thing just right out the gate. Like, he didn't run away and, like, try to hide from the topic, you know? Like, they didn't yeah, have to talk he, about yeah. Diego. Like, yeah, he, he wasn't have to necessarily bring on there to talk about his managing services. Like, yeah, that's part of his, what he does. But he was, like, more, like, you know what I mean? He was more so on there to talk about the border than anything else, you know? Um, the managing I mean, yeah, service that I'm he, sure they were going to bring it up, but he still could have. Right, no, no, but I'm saying, like, no one they asked didn't have him to go into that. Diego. You know what I mean? Right, no one. Exactly. No, 
exactly. none of them said so what's up with diego and like from yeah. that from at least my perspective i would assume yours and majority of the viewers of that show didn't realize that he had any sort of part in that i had no yep. idea no, no clue idea. Rick Clements had a huge role in diego specifically i know that he helped with a lot of people with money and i didn't know how it all worked with sponsors that was also interesting to hear about how uh spanish called him like yo all these people are hitting me up because diego's part dropped the welcome to sent him over to him yeah and he's like what do i do and then Clements was like oh, i'll just take care of it um i yeah, loved he hearing the stuff about how he's like how he was saying pretty China. much he's not gonna he'd rather just show a skateboarder like you can do this instead of do it for him just to get a little money out of it. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. There's a lot of things that just really gave off the vibe that he really cares about skateboarding. Yeah. I've met him before, actually. He's a really nice guy. Sick. That's cool. Yeah. And then uh, stuff like even how the border has a park that people can go skate. Uh, I know he has like those barbecues and events when there's a lot of dudes out in Tampa at his house. So many cool things like that. I think uh, it's that sick that he stayed in Tampa when he didn't need to. Yeah. It is cool. I agree. Yeah, so. I really, I feel like I learned a lot. I, I just enjoyed the episode. It was, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I mean dude, definitely the highlight. I feel like it's really that, that whole Diego thing was really interesting. You could see they both wanted to get their points across. It, I was, it was crazy to me that Kelly, did pull out his colorways. Not that it, I don't know. It, I mean, it was just surprising in a sense of like. I mean, I know you could hear in the tone of his voice that Kelly was bummed out when they were talking about Diego. Period. Like, especially when he was talking about, like, man, I had all these plans and I had all this. Like, you could just hear it. You could just feel it. And it's like, I mean, I'm it's... sure that. I mean, obviously, it's a huge bummer for S. Anyone that works at S when that happens, it's like, he showed you the colorways. He said that they were planning a video on a trip and all this stuff really to push him as a brand. Their brand S to push Diego, and right, you know, obviously sell his signature products. I mean, and dude, that's Diego. Crazy. It's totally different sponsors at this point. He came in with S and Ammo, and now he's on Adidas and Primitive. Yeah. I mean, it was cool to hear uh, Kelly talk about how long he's backed Diego, and obviously that they're still uh, homies yeah. and that it's not just about Diego skating for S. Um. I don't know. It was crazy to talk about that. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I believe that is the last thing on our list. Damn. Three parts so, to talk about like five things. That, yeah, but I mean, it ended up going kind of long. and I mean, not long, but I, if you look at the list, it looked really short. But we had a lot to say about yeah. those things. Uh, so again, sorry for the technical difficulties. I want to use the right, microphone dude. because it sounds better. I just need to figure out why it'll randomly just shut me up, um, and then I'll use it again. But anyway, I just we'll like be... wanted to—I wanted to let you figure it out while I just stayed on camera talking. I would have loved you. to, but honestly, I don't think it was going. There was going to be a solution. Yeah. So just fun right, talking shit about say. no complies, though. I right, cut it. <laughs> uh, anyway, we'll be back next week with 107. It'll be one part only, not three. <laughs> I promise. Unless I forget to pay my bill. <laughs> Peace.